So the 12 Days of Christmas song is often used, at least in its earliest form, it was a way to help people remember um, those numbers and therefore to remember some key ideas about God in Scripture. The 12 drummers drumming, most people believe originally it, it was supposed to represent the Apostles' Creed, 12 key thoughts in that. Rather than number them or elaborate on them, I just want to remind you that the Apostles' Creed is not actual like it's not in the scripture, it's a whole bunch of scriptural ideas that people put on a list and basically said, listen, if, if you don't believe these things, you, you just don't get it at all. And so I'm going to just read it as it is. Uh, there's a couple different versions of wording. I, I found one that I believe is consistent. I'm just going to read it and then tell you one more thing. We'll be done with this series today. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. Uh, the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended to heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. And from there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. That idea of the Holy Catholic Church in its original meaning when they first created this creed uh, wasn't really talking about what we would consider Catholic. Um, there wasn't such a thing as the Catholic Church as we see it today. There wasn't such a thing as Protestants, for sure. It was hundreds and hundreds of years before that. What that word really means is one unified church, one global body of Christ. Catholic means kind of universal is what that word actually means. And I'd like you to remember that today. Wherever you are, however you're trying to celebrate Christmas, I hope you can remember these core truths that we've been walking back through. Jesus, all of these other things. And, and, and here at, on this last day, if we can find unity, if we can find unity, if we all believe these core basic things and, and, and enough that we can work together and actually try our best to make the world a better place in Christ's name. We could actually get somewhere. And, and the 12 days of Christmas is just maybe hopefully one way to remember that. But the 12 drummers drumming, these are, these are truths that are just going to be true whether we like it or not. But when we find our unity on that, and instead of trying to compete with each other, all the different versions of the faith, when we work together and we say, hey, we're going to get this job done. There's hope. There's, there's a chance for a kind of peace that the world doesn't understand. And that's what Jesus is all about. And I encourage you to celebrate him throughout the rest of this season and beyond. God bless you and Merry Christmas.